Where you at, saints? Where you at, saints? Where you at, saints? I'm calling all mighty prayer warriors, angels of the Most High, the 144K that I know are on this channel. I need some prayers for Sis Karen. Today is December 11th, 1211, which I came in a video last night and told y'all that she had gone home from the ha hospital, but they life lighted her out by a chapa this morning. Yeah, she got to ride on a chapa, just like Brother Jeff. This is, this is an attack on the saints. I'm telling y'all, we're in heavy warfare. We need prayers for her. Let me put this back on. It's pretty cold in here. Um, I came on yesterday thinking that it was she was better. Um, and I had said she'd gone home from the hospital and that she was going to have to go to the doctor. Well, she fell down and she passed out. And, uh, and then um, because she, I guess she lives like outside of the area where there's a good hospital, they life lighted her this morning and uh, she's going in for open heart surgery. Yeah, open heart. Jesus is the bleeding heart of Jesus, right? Um, so I really need some prayers. I have no fear. Father's got her in his wings, but still it doesn't hurt to pray. She's very close to the Lord. And I know she's standing in her faith, but I asked her if it would be okay if I posted and just gave a little bit of details and hold on a minute. We're supposed to be strong in the Lord, so no, no crying Lena today, okay? Okay, I'm back. Anyway, um, she's standing strong in her faith, and uh, she was told by Father that she would have to suffer but um, she's going to be okay. I'm standing on that. That's all I'm going to say with that. So can y'all please pray for her? If y'all don't know her, she's an awesome sister in Christ. We have been shown so many things together over the past couple of years. Um, I was connected with her. She was one of the first three people that I was connected to when I got on YouTube three years ago. And uh, we had so many similar um signs and, and wonders that the Lord has shown us. And uh, we're connecting pieces to the puzzle together with the Lord's help. Just like all of us on this channel and other channels are. He's bringing the 144K together. Speaking of that. So I know this was for Sis Karen. Oh no, I forgot my glasses. I gotta find my glasses. Hold on a minute. I can look at the little baby. She's sleeping. And uh She's by the window that y'all like so much. Yeah, um, I didn't think about if y'all aren't from New Orleans or maybe another old city in the old west. Um, not much left these days. Just a few crumbling buildings, dusty mementos, and legends. Lots of legends. If y'all aren't from um, a real old city, like New Orleans is from the 1700s, some areas. Um, that's how they made the windows so you can get a breeze through here. Drew Breeze in the house. But I believe that this was for Sis Karen, as well as several other, actually all believers in Christ, but those that are under severe attack right now. This is the wearing out of the saints, which I keep warning y'all. Incidentally, last night, Paul Bagley, I was watching him live. It was the first video I was able to watch. I'd been just a lot of stuff yesterday. Who cares? This isn't about me. I always like, I don't mean for things to seem like it's talking about me, but I just like to ramble because I have nobody to talk to, but y'all, my family and my true friends. But anyway, um, I had just got online. I don't even know how long he'd been on, but probably for a while. It was a live show. I said, oh, because I normally don't get to watch a live show with, with people. And uh, within five Five minutes, probably, maybe no more than 10 minutes of me watching it. 
he had some sort of a, an attack. He started stuttering and like that. And it was when he was talking about, um, he was talking about they discovered oil or something in Mexico. And then he was talking about Australia and uh, Sis Roxanne, I didn't even know she was on there. And then I text her saying, oh my gosh, something happened to Bailey. And she's like, I'm watching it right now. And uh, so many other people on the, you know how they're doing the messages on the side, the chat. I'm still, I don't participate in this very often. So I'm new to the, like the lingo, but the, the chat room, everybody was noticing it saying it's a stroke, stroke taken to the ER, hurry, hurry, sis Heidi or whatever. And he didn't go, he persevered through it. I see, I haven't got to, a chance to watch, um, but I see that he posted this morning. So I'm assuming he made it, he's okay. And, uh, but we need to be aware that they are attacking the saints. This is what's going on. Sister Denise on this channel, your last name starts with a D. I don't know if you want me to say your full name, but um, she said that her son's fiance, who's only 21, had a heart attack and is pregnant and she's in the hospital right now. And Denise also was rushed to the ER and spent three days in the hospital. And I think it was this month, just recently. And then we know about brother Jeff who had the freak accident with his gun, which we know is the enemy and uh, blew his leg off and they reattached it. And he was life lighted by Chapa. Give me the Chapa Kappa. Um, by chopper to the hospital. This is major attack. I warned y'all, this is Satan's season. We've got the, uh, we've got the, what do you call it? The solar eclipse, the cold moon, which was last night and today, it's throughout, you know, it lasts usually two to three days. Um, then on the 21st, we have the winter solstice, which is the, Shortest night and the darkest night of the year. Incidentally, I just found this out. That's Pastor Paul Bagley's birthday. And a friend of mine that I lost contact with years ago named Karen, I'm not kidding y'all, that was a nurse and Paul Bagley's wife is a nurse. There's a connection with other believers. It's like we have synchronicities and we have things that are similar. It's, it's just insane in the membrane. But anyway, this is going to be just a real quick video. I usually don't come on in the mornings like this, but I need y'all to pray for Sister Karen, for her father to, you know, to send extra angels. She's already anointed is what I was going to say, but for extra angels to surround and protect her and for everything to, to uh, be healed so she doesn't even have to go into surgery. But whatever God's will is for him to have her and keep her in peace, no pain, no pain. And I believe she's going to quickly recover if she does have to go through surgery, but I'm praying that she won't have to. And so her channel was Sarah Forth Calling. A lot of y'all know her as Sarah Forth Calling channel. Her name is actually Karen. She's changed the name of her channel recently to Karen Warrior Against the Darkness. She and I, as well as a lot of us, are personally attacked by high up fallen. Um, we've been seeing fallen, they're visiting us in our dreams. A lot of them masquerade as people that we think are our friends or somebody we might have been attracted to. Um, one came to me as Paul Walker last week, but it wasn't Paul Walker. I believe Paul Walker, Paul Walker was one of us and they took him out, but it was in God's hands because maybe he had finished his mission so Paul Bagley is persevering, and that shows the mighty hand of Jesus, the mighty hand of the Father to get through all the fiery attacks and darts of the enemy. And he is throwing them, y'all. So please say prayers for Sis Karen. I'll give y'all updates as, as I find out. Her husband is supposed to, uh, to text me if she can't. Delicious. Anyway, um, and yeah, y'all are seeing my eyes. I notice I very seldom watch my videos, but I've watched a couple of like maybe 10 minutes of it or something. 
My eyes look like sunken black demon holes. I'm like, what is that? I don't even have on that much makeup. So I stopped wearing the black eyeliner around it and just put like a little bit of brown on here and none underneath. And it still looked like that. I'm like, what are they doing? So I don't know if it's the lighting because I only have one fan light with one bulb that works because lights all blow out around me, y'all. And I know a lot of us have had that. But it's weird because, like, if I'm taking a picture and it's dark, it doesn't show that. So I don't know if they're doing that with our videos, but I just praise the Lord that I'm coming on and it's still morning time. It's like, I think it's like 11 a.m. And uh, so now you can see my eyes. My eyes are hazel. They'll turn green, but they have gold in them. Sometimes they'll be gold like cat's eyes. And I remember people, when, it, when I'm at the beach especially, they'll turn gold. And people will be like, oh my gosh, I've never seen eyes like that. They're gold. And uh, then sometimes they're green and sometimes they look kind of brownish. But they have gold specks in them. And that's what I was telling y'all last night. Sis Karen was talking about that. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have that too. And then a couple of y'all, Sister Naomi, no, I read the comment just now before I got on here. No, uh, the person that said, oh, it's just because you have olive skin. There's olive skin without gold tones to it. It's more like a greenish. This is like a sparkle in our skin. Some of us have it in our eyes. Some of us have it in our hair. I had golden blonde hair as a child. I've at, I, All my pictures were stolen, all my photographs, when they broke into my house and they stole or broke everything and spray painted voodoo symbols everywhere. This was years ago. And um, so all of my old pictures were gone. And then I had some stored on my laptops and all my laptops have been broken. So I have no zero pictures no i'm not making the illuminati sign zero pictures of me when i was a kid but i asked a family member because i've only got two family members left too earthly family members but y'all are my family my true family but i asked them for two two and a half almost three years to please send me one or two pictures you can just email them to me please finally finally about a week ago they sent I think I've got two or three pictures of me as a kid. They're not even good pictures of me. I'm like, where's all the cool pictures of me? But I may try to figure out how to upload it because it's sent through email and y'all will see my hair color. It's got red in it as well. And it doesn't matter what skin color you are, what nationality you are. You can be Native American, you can be uh, black, you can be white, you can be Asian, you get it, right? You can have gold in your skin, the tone of your skin. I'm not saying the color, it's a tone. Check it out because I believe God's bloodline, Jesus's bloodline has gold in it. And again, what I said last night, the golden child, that movie they're making, they're making a mockery of God's golden children. Yeah, streets of gold, cities of gold, all that. And they're trying to rid us. And Sis Karen has that. So I'm interested, anybody that has been sh shown that, or if most men don't know because you haven't ever had makeup, but I always have to go with the warm golden. And uh, it doesn't look like it in this lighting because this is horrible lighting, but it's got like a gold shimmer to my skin. So again, not about me. It's just Sis Karen is the one that brought attention and I'm thinking, I've always noticed something. And people are talking about the RH bloodline. Uh, Fred Wust, he had it. And he's disappeared, y'all. And I still ask for prayers for him. But today, we need extra prayers for Sis Karen. Um, yeah, there's, there's something with that. And they're trying to get rid of us. So I sleep with my Bible next to my bed, but it's not on top of me where I didn't flip this page open. I had it on a completely different, I was reading Revelation when I, when I was on last night, but before I go to bed, I always flip to something else. And what I had flipped to was Psalms 32, which I believe was for Sis Karen. So Psalms 32 is way over here. 
Oh, funny, I flipped to Psalms, not 32. And Revelation is right way at the end. So there's no way I flipped this open in my sleep. Plus, I was way away from the Bible. The Bible was on a pillow across from me. When I woke up this morning, it was open to Revelation. Don't tell me I didn't write it down. Oh boy, I don't think I wrote it down. You know. Talk amongst yourselves. Oh, yes, I did. I wrote it down because I shut the Bible since then to ask for a word for Sis Karen. It was open to Revelation 14.1. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him 144,000, having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven as a voice of many waters, there's the water, and the voice of a great thunder, and I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sang, as it were, a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn the song but the 144,000, which were redeemed from the earth. These are they which were not defiled with women, which means with false doctrine. For they are virgins, meaning they haven't given in to false teachings. They haven't been misled. They haven't been given over to a strong delusion. These are they which follow the Lamb, Jesus, wherever he go. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto God, to the Lamb. And in their mouths was found no guile, which means no deception, no lying, for they are without fault before the throne of God. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people, saying with a loud voice, that's my boss, my boss, I'm Samuel Jackson, a shock, a shock ate me. Fear not and give glory to him. No, it didn't say that part, sorry saying with a loud voice, which is me, fear God and give glory to him for the hour of his judgment is come. Worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea, the firmament and the fountains of waters. Okay. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon, America is fallen. The great city because she made all the nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. So I believe that was not only for Sis Karen, but all of us that are under heavy attack that need encouragement. We are the 144K. What is 144K in gold? Why do you think they call the best gold 144K? 144 carat. And why is it, why do they call, carrots are orange, right? Why do they call carrots carrots? Because they've got a gold orange color. Why do they, you know, they call people with real red hair carrot top? It can be any color with a, with a sparkle of gold in it. I believe that's part of Jesus's bloodline. Golden, strawberry, red. It's, it's, you can't come up with this yourself. This is the father speaking. He is on his way. Jesus is coming back for the saints. Who that? Who that? Who that say you're going to beat them saints? Nobody. Nobody's going to beat us, y'all. Man, I wish I had that song on to end it with. Anyway, um, so that was very encouraging. Get another sip of water, sip of coffee. Coffee! Y'all usually don't see me drinking coffee because I try to cut it out and not drink it after noon because I, I'm so hyper anyway, but I'm just now having my first cup, so maybe I'm able to sit a little bit. More quiet. I don't know. I've, I've noticed how I do that. It's like, I'm not on crack rock now. I'm just very animated and hyper. And I have a lot of stuff going on that just constant. I woke up, was hit right between the eye. I put makeup over because it looks awful. And I had pinpricks. I've got makeup on today. 
because it's so bad. Because usually I don't like to wear anything like here because I believe it sinks into our pores and like, because that's chemicals too, right? But I had five pinpricks. I should have taken it off so y'all can see it, but I didn't want, but didn't want to scare y'all. Five pinpricks here and here, they matched. And it looked like if you connected the dots, two crosses. I'm not even kidding y'all. It's from their directed energy weapons. Come on, I'll show y'all out my window when I moved in if y'all saw the first few videos I did the tree was beautiful nothing was wrong with it now it's burnt and right where it used to lean over my window hopefully y'all can see this the branches are gone so they went in the middle of the night or maybe while I wasn't here probably while I wasn't here and they cut all the branches right in front of my window after the ones burned and I, I documented that, I guess so that there can't be like proof of whatever the heck they're doing. But yeah, so we all have different attacks, but Satan is attacking us in every area right now. So just be aware, but we have no fear. We're almost out of here. And that's why Satan's hitting everybody so hard. All right, so I believe this was for specifically for you, Sis Karen, if you're watching from the hospital. She hasn't gone in for surgery. She's got to be transported to a better hospital. So again, I'll keep y'all updated as I find out. But she's in the, um, I guess, intensive care unit or something. I don't want to misquote. Let me tell y'all what it is. Hold on. Talk amongst yourselves again. Hopefully y'all didn't see my ace booty. Anyway, I wasn't trying to moon y'all. Uh, I haven't heard from her since this morning. Like two hours ago. And I would have put this on sooner, but it didn't come in. It shows she texted me at 8.45 a.m. It didn't come in until like 30 minutes ago because they hacked my phone. Critical care unit, waiting to be transported and go to respectable hospital with reputable heart surgeon. So she's in, in waiting, critical care unit. And then uh, if she can't talk, her husband's supposed to text me. So hopefully he does that. So I asked father if he could give me a word for sis Karen, which I know the 144 is part for her as well as all of us under attack. And he led me to Psalms 32. Hold on. And this is for y'all too, if y'all are under attack. This is for all of us. Psalms 32. This is amazing. Blessed is he whose transgressions transgression is forgiven whose sin is covered blesses is the man whom the lord imputeth not iniquity and in whose spirit there is no guile and there's the guile the guile is also the 144 were those that were found no guile i didn't know what guile meant the lord led me to look it up maybe a few weeks ago when i came on with another part of the 144K, because I'm asking, how can a woman be this? And, you know, if you slept with somebody, then that means you're not a virgin. And he explained everything that when you're, well, I'll tell, I'll tell you about that later. But anyway, I'm trying to read this real quick. Make this under 30 minutes. Oh, my gosh. I talk so much, man. Um, I'm sorry I ramble. Uh, so there's the guile again. In the 144K, there was no file, found no guile, no lies, no deception. We don't deceive others. We speak truth. That's why they want to shut us down. When I kept silent, hmm, me? I don't know. When did I do that? No, I'm kidding. I, I do that a lot. I'm very quiet most of the time because I'm in prayer. I'm asking the Lord things. But when I come on here, I'm just so excited to share everything. And I have no one to talk to. So y'all get to hear the ramblings of Looney Lena. When I kept silent, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day long. 
for day and night thy hand was heavy upon me. My moisture is turned into drought of summer. I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and mine iniquity I have not hid. I said, I will confess thy train transgressions unto thee, Lord, and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. For this shall every one that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. We're to pray to the Lord. That's what he's saying. He needs his warriors to pray. Surely in the floods of great waters, and there's the floods, the New Madrid fault and the Cascadia fault zone that I've been shown as brother Jeff which, by the way, I gave you all the wrong, um, I gave you the wrong YouTube channel. It's Jeff Wilkins, not our artillery man. So go check him out. Um, and the name of his dream was Dream of Twin, Twin Dreams, Twin Dreams, something like that. I put it in the description last night and I'll put it in there again today. Because he was shown this back in 2017 about the New Madrid. But anyway, getting back, see how I get off track, Jack? Wow, it, it flipped away by itself. Look away! Okay. For this shall everyone that is godly pray unto thee in the time when thou mayest be found. Surely in the floods of great waters, they shall not come nigh unto them. This is for you, sis Karen, if you're watching. It's not gonna, t Satan is not gonna have you. Lucy is a loser. He's going into the pit. Thou are my hiding place where the hidden ones, I've told you all that. Thou shall persevere. It's actually preserve. But I say persevere, we're persevering through the storm. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. Many sores shall be the wicked, but they that trusteth in the Lord, mercy shall compass him about. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, ye righteous, and shout for joy. Shout! Shout, all ye that are upright in heart. He is, we are going through these trials and tribulations, but he's the, the most high, the father is pulling us through as long as we remain faithful to him. Then I was guided to 2 Corinthians. Let's see. Oh, I got three minutes. Three minutes, Dougie Fresh, on, uh, uh, on. Second Corinthians 12, seven. And lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me lest I should be exalted above measure. This is for all true, targeted, empowered, chosen individuals, the golden children. Saints of the Most High, the 144K, this is for y'all, angels. You are angels here on this earth, sent back in this final hour to battle against the evil. That's why Satan is coming against us. You are highly favored. The harder you're being hit, the higher you're calling. Sis Karen has a very high calling. So it's an honor to go through this fire. It is an honor to carry the cross every day, all day for Jesus. But this is for all of y'all that are going through these horrible trials because this is the end of the battle. We're end time saints. This is Paul. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice that it might depart from me. The thorn in the side, right? And he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee. My strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, I would rather glory in my infirmities than the power of Christ may, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, 
in persecutions. This is perse being persecuted when you're being targeted. In distresses, in, for Christ's sake, for when I am weak, then I am strong. Truly, the signs of an apostle were wrought among you in all patience, in signs, in wonders, in mighty deeds. Deeds. I'm sorry, I can't talk. It's, I don't know what's going on. Probably another attack. Um, and then I was led to 2 Corinthians 11.23. This is to encourage all, all that are going through these horrible trials. 2 Corinthians 11. Twenty-three. Are they ministers of Christ? I am more in labors more abundant, in stripes above measure, meaning being whipped, beaten, in prisons more frequent. A lot of us were um, unjustly clickety clack locked up, whether it's in jail or in the, you know, loony bin. In prisons more frequent, in deaths off. Of the Jews, five times I received 40 stripes, save one. Thrice, those are the people that call themselves Jews and are not. Thrice I was beaten with rods, once I was stoned, thrice I suffered shipwreck. A night and day I have been in the deep, in journeyings often, in perils of waters, in perils of robbers, in perils of mine own countrymen, Judas's, in perils by the heathen, King Stachus, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren. And isn't that true? A lot of false brethren are coming on YouTube and saying hateful, mean things, and it's just sad. It's, it's showing who's the wheat and who's the tares in this final you can't hide much longer, Satan, in your minions. In weariness, in painfulness, in watchings often, watchings, the stalkers. In hunger, in thirst, in fastings often, in cold, in nakedness. Beside those things that were without, in which cometh upon me daily, daily. It's never ending for some of us TIs. Saints of the Most High, the care of all the churches. Who is weak and I am not weak? Who is offended and I burn not? If I, if I must needs glory, I will glory in all the things which concern mine infirmities. And through a window in a basket, I was let down by the wall and escaped his hands. Just for y'all, see the window one more time. Because we, maybe this is why I had a place like this with a window like this a long time ago. I'm going to say 20 years ago, but I haven't had one since. They're not real common, but I've seen them in New Orleans before. Um, but maybe this is why I was led to open the window last night before I knew about Sis Karen and a lot of our attacks before Paul Babley got attacked live. Maybe this is why I was led to open the window. Because loving that. Look, we got her. She's insane. We're going to escape through the window. We're going to have the window open. The windows of heaven are about to open and we're about to go up. I've seen it in dreams. I have some videos that were at least two years ago. One, I know I was living on my boat. So that was like two and a half years ago where I flew through a giant window. Sis Candace, who's not on this channel anymore, or she doesn't comment, um, had a similar dream like that. We go through a window. 
Could this be another mockery because we know Satan is uh, prince of the air? Why they have windows on the computers to mock what the Lord's going to do, how he's going to take us up. Maybe we're about to go through the window, y'all, through the sea of glass. All right, I love y'all. Again, please pray for Sis Karen. And uh, let's see, just one more second. I'll try to do this. We're overcomers for Christ, so there's no fear in persecution, in your trials and tribulations. We have to go through these things to be considered worthy to rule and reign with Jesus. We are going to be judging angels. We are angels that will judge the fallen, as I've said many times. I can get this on here. This wasn't... This popped into my head while I was uh, making this video just now, so maybe I can, maybe I can get it on here. Sorry. One time, is it the circle K? Nobody's going to beat us, saints. We're going to fly. Love y'all. I'm out.